As it almost always starts, I am very confident I picked up flatworms on a frag from a local reefer. Even after dipping the frag three times and closely examining, I am guessing the eggs remained. I first started noticing my alkalinity consumption from the corals dropping, and eventually had an alk spike. Good thing I caught it in time before any real damage happened. Then I noticed the telltale sign of small bite marks, and then noticed a few on the glass. Shortly after, I noticed discoloration on the underside of a coral, as you can see here. Here is one of the little f***ers now. I have personally seen firsthand of what these parasitic bastards can do to a reef tank in just a few months. They eat the coral tissue and lay eggs around the base of the skeleton so predators have a hard time finding them. And when the eggs hatch, they immediately have something to eat. After confirming I had flatworms, I put an order in with my friends over at Premium Aquatics and picked up a bottle of KZ Flatworm Stop. I've heard mostly positive results with using Flatworm Stop, so I decided to give it a shot. I've heard people use Wormwood, Purge, Flatworm Exit with different results, some actually nuking their tank, so that's why I made the decision to use KZ. Dosing is fairly easy. Currently I use a syringe that comes with the Salifert test kits. After using their kits for so many years, I have saved a ton of them. I may add a doser to this in the future. It depends on how much of a pain it's going to be to manually dose every day. The directions say to dose 1 milliliter per 25 gallons a day. I'm going to start with 1.5 milliliters per day. Once 1.5 milliliters is collected from the bottle, I empty the syringe into the closest overflow to the main pump. It seems like most of the people who record their data on forums, YouTube, etc. never really include a final follow-up post or video. It's like they either fail and give up, or rid their tank of flatworms and forget to inform the people of how it went. I will record my journey throughout the flatworm removal process, so stay tuned. Thank you. 